I am getting somewhere, I suppose. Um, played a little bit over the past couple days. Did a bunch of cave runs and whatnot. That last video was an update video. Just, I mean, I, it just, it's so hard. I'm here, you know, doing this by myself. I wish I could find a server and for other people to play this with, uh, to focus on other aspects. But it's you know, you know, I'll be doing something. I'll look at something. And I'll be like, oh, what is that? And then I'll look into it. Well, okay. So there's a mod in here called Batania. And it has to do with plants and magic and runes and some crazy crap. And it, it was it was a little challenging at first. Basically, you, you, you start with this little thing, and it's a, it's a actually cool thing. It just when you throw stuff in there, it's a little bit easier to have it. Why did that in there? So you, so you fill up this bucket here. This is how everything starts. Fill this bucket up here. Throw some fucking water in this thing. Then, throughout the world, you've got, like, the tulips and stuff like that, like the normal Minecraft flowers. Well, in this mode, or in this uh, mod, there's uh, these mystical flowers. And you break it, flower, and you go up here, and you turn the flower into fucking uh, petal. And then, you throw the petal, and you... Um, I need another one. That was not. Of course, this is where my organization has gotten really bad. Is there's just there's just so much shit. I have to go to them out of order and uh, like. There you go. Do a whole bunch of crazy crap. Basically, the flowers are how you make shit in this mod. Then you can take. The flowers and. Uh, where'd I put it? Should have had this set up, but I actually didn't. What the hell? Okay, I, I knew that was gonna happen. So. What the fuck? Oh, it's in, that's where it's at. Take these, turn it into some powder. And then you take a little bone meal. Turn it into floral fertilizer. And it's getting dark. Go ahead and sleep really quick. Going here. Oh, it's fine, Dad. Right, let's just do that and then throw these. But there's no way I'm going to get this one next time. Alright, so there's different colors. They all do different shit. Come over here. This is the first thing you do. You're going to take four of these white petals, throw them the fuck in there. And then it's going to give you that little crafting thing, and then add some regular seeds here. Throw that bitch in there. And then bam! Bam! You get these little fucking flowers right here. These are pure daisies. Spread that a little bit. Then you're going to take either normal stone, cooked stone, regular cooked stone. Put that there. Here. And then here. Here. 
And then all the sparkle shit happens, and then you just have to wait. Oh god, what the fucking shit? Oh, now, goddamn. Oh, no, where my. Oh, they. That's what. Alright. And then, boom, you get this stuff, and it's called Living Rock. And then this stuff up here is Living Wood. Starting to get a headache. I hadn't recorded in a couple days. I've been, I've got fucking like less than a month left of school. Like literally, le well, not of school in general, of this semester. And then I can focus on this a little bit more before next semester starts. And you got these living rocks. Put this stuff back in here. And that was the first part. And then you take. Keep running back in the house, it's kind of annoying. Then you make one of these. What? Sorry. Let's see what we got. Fuck. There's two different types. It's called a mana pool. I didn't even see that one. Gem rock. Which is living rock. And bifrost. Which is the rod of the bifrost. And alkalite. <clears throat> and there, apparently there's like some place that I have to go in. I, I don't know. Anyways. This is how you make that. Okay. Boom. Mana pool. Then you place it down, which is already here. And then with the living rock, not living rock, living wood, a gold plank, and whatever color feather, then you make the mana spreader. Right. With uh, the living wood, you make living sticks, and then three of those and two feathers. Makes I'm not even gonna do that. It makes this bitch. Wand of the forest. And then from there, you can kinda orient. You gotta like shift click or shift right click. And you'll see it, you know, start spewing the mana in there. That was the base. But to get the mana, you have to use like these flowers, which also put the flower petals in here and then it creates let's see uh I think ooh at Batania so if you at Batania if you at the mod name in the search bar it breaks it down by just the stuff in that mod pack which is fucking cool uh so hydrangeas it was two blues and two cyans. I made this little flower patch because these a little flower pouch because these things make a lot of fucking space. There we go. There we go. Take this. Put that in there. Put that in there. Boom! Get you a seed. Bam! Look at that shit. Turns it into. 
This one is a hydrangea. So this one takes water, absorbs it, puts it in there. Right click on it, shift right click. So it's ab absorbing the mana and it's filling the mana up. And then that's what fills up. Then you shift click this and put this into another mana spreader. And then that mana spreader, you shift click and make the runic altar, which. either a mana pearl or a mana diamond and the same thing just like the the mana pool except for upside down the mana diamond or the mana pearl now i've had three diamonds two of which i only got because i found some kind of like astral sorcery thing that when you break the middle block, this was the that thing in one of the previous servers or, or the previous uh, episodes where, you know, I, I had that little thing down in one of these and then mining it and it just gives me a whole bunch of shit until, you know, I got a diamond and I found another one and I got another diamond. This is the only two diamonds. I've only found one diamond legit and it's, it's pissed me off. So I don't understand. But long story short, you could also use an Ender Pearl, which I got this fancy little sword here, so Enderman can't teleport when I hit him with this sword. Uh, it does some other cool stuff that I like upgrades and shit that I haven't that I haven't gotten into yet. Wow, I didn't know I had a I forgot my boots had this. What the fuck? Adds an inventory to your armor. The size depends on the armor. Put the hot keys to open it and gain all the armor. Okay, I'll do that later. Anyways, long story short, I can get Ender Pearls a lot easier. Then, actually, let's go get one. Ender Pearl. Yep. Diamond or an Ender. Boom. End of that. Turns it into Ender with this fucking Mana Pearl. I don't know if it does anything else. I just, I've been following the recipes online. I had to find them and I found the recipe online. I was like, All right, this is what I'm going to do really quick. Okay. So then you do that. Then it makes this thing. Now, this is where things get a little. You got to make sure it's all set up because the, it has to be absorbing mana and it has to go in here. It has to absorb this. Now, this little fucking flower right here is called an endo flame. So it's one of the other ones. So it's two browns, a light gray, and a red. It creates that. And then go in here. I'm going to that out of curiosity because I have no idea if that works and I don't know if that works. I'm, I'm assuming anything that burns... Come on, goddammit, go down there. So, I know that the coal works, obviously. Get back up here. Come on back outside. Getting dark again. And chuck that shit. Just chuck it, chuck it right near. And then you'll see it. Boom. And it starts absorbing it. And then that creates that. Now, the, the problem with the hydrangeas is I think the things that it lasts like three Minecraft days, and then the flower dissipates. That thing, I don't think it, I think it just lasts forever. So essentially, you can make a whole bunch of those, and then get you a bunch of coal and shit like that. So I'm gonna wait a second and see... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna wait a second and see if that, uh... If I can use the magma block with a lava bucket. I don't think it uses the lava bucket. I think it said that anything that has an extra byproduct, like it would be the bucket. Like it would use the lava, but it wouldn't use the bucket. So, that's whatever.
Okay, I guess, well, that's, I guess I can explain the next thing. Uh... So you make this, and then you start making roofs. Fuck. Forgot. So I've got all that stuff. Let me make another fishing thing. Because some of this stuff, it just gets, you know, it's, it's like, holy shit, it gets convoluted after a while, but... It's not that hard to make a fishing pole. I'm just lazy. I've already done it, so of course I don't want to do it again. Uh, let's see. Bone meal, we got that, that, that. And stone dust, that's fine. Alright, here's where the real fun, cool stuff starts happening, okay? So you throw... Okay, I said that and then fucked it up. So you throw your... Everything you need. Fishing pole. So you literally just chug it in there. Look at that. Look at that shit. That's cool as fuck. It's doing its little thing. Now this is where you have to make sure that there's mana flowing in. Oh, wait a minute. What a, what a fuck up. Oh, you see what I fucked up on? Okay. God damn it. That's where it sucks. Because... You only needed. I only make sure you only put what you need. It it'll fuck up the recipes if you don't put what you need. Put too much. Boom. That's what you're looking for. Ah, yeah. So it makes a little sparkly shit. You hear the sound and whatnot. It's floating around. It gives you a little thing. Now it's charging. What it's doing is it's charging from the mana pool to create whatever it is you're trying to create. And make sure you have your wand. Make sure you have this little fucking block here. Throw the block on there. Now it's gonna sit there. Like if you hover back over it, you're gonna pick it back up. So you have to have that block on there. It's like throwing the seed into the other one. And then, boom, right click. And then you make these little fucking water roofs. And, and then, and and then it's a long process of using these runes to make the next runes. So to make fire rune, or or you have to make. The water rune, then you make the fire rune, you make the earth rune, air rune, all these different runes and stuff. Then you make, uh, what was the first one I made? The rune of spring. So it's water and a fire. I guess I could do that. It's water, fire. Wheat and then three of the same. Saplings. And you do the same thing right here. Throw wheat in there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I was wrong. I think you do that. Oh, you, I was right. You were right. One of these you go back and god damn it. And that's why I put the other one in there, because that, that, that. Yeah, and wait for it to charge. Well, that's bullshit. So that didn't work. 
I used all my money. Oh, and on there, bibbity bobbity And I, I guess you get the runes back. And then you got the runes brand. Then, what was it called? Uh, Agricarnation. So it's two limes, a green, a yellow, that, and then the redstone root. And the redstone root is just a grass, like, you go, click, you hit that, and then... That up. Boom, redstone root. And then you should doing that, uh, but when you go back, this is what it is. When you go back to the agronation, or I'm sorry, when you go back to make the agra carnation, this thing right there, you go back and you put all those things in here. With the water, you put the water in there, put all that stuff in there, makes the fucking thing, and you get this little, this this little fucker right here. Now what this is supposed to do, you see how it's not shimmering right now? Put it back over here, next to this. Nope, nope, a little bit closer. I hadn't made another mana spell. Oh, didn't. Oh, there's no mana in there. It when it's when it's powered via mana, mana, mana. However the fuck you want to say it, however the fuck it's supposed to be said. When it's powered with mana, it's supposed to help the growth rate around you. That's <laughs> and I spent probably an hour and a half figuring this shit out with these little fucking flower things, and then figuring this fucking shit out. You know, to make the mana, to put it in this thing, to put it into this thing, to make multiple different runes, to make one fucking flower. I made one motherfucking flower, and it was just supposed to help things grow around me. Do you look at this farm? Does it look like I need a prop with things? Does it look like I'm having a problem growing shit? <laughs> so, wow. It was, a, it was an experience, and I just spent the next, what? 25 minutes now, like, showing you, like, basic rundown of doing this just to make this one fun flower. So, I think there's some cool stuff in it. There's all, I do know that there's a portal, there's a boss that I, and there's a whole bunch of cool, like, in stuff, apparently. I haven't seen too much about it, and I'm gonna have to keep figuring it out. So, I, I don't know if this is what I'm gonna focus on for the time being, since it's kind of got my hyperfixation in this mod pack. Um, but this is what I've kind of fucking figured out so far. Um, one of the other things I made was this Bellathorn flower right here. And if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to attack enemies. And like, when there's mana around it, it's supposed to just, like, do damage to enemies. I don't know. I haven't seen it work, because I don't... I got, like, one dude in this fucking house right here. And he's all alone in there, because everybody else has died. Um... So yeah, so that's that's the catch up video. Now I did make where the, which one is it? Oh fuck! Oh, I see it. Okay, it's the or I I guess I can take those other ones off. I figured I had to do this. Nope, that one needs to stay on because that's the furthest one. I don't even know which one that is. But anyways, I figured out how to make this. That was the other cool thing. So that pink one right there is another village, and it's giant. It's a giant ass fucking village. So I've, I've I stumbled across it. I started blocking villagers in and shit like that, and then I came back here to do this. So uh, we'll pick up the next time, and I will probably have more of this stuff figured out. 
and then I'm going to go over there to that village and see if I can't find stuff like some of the crazy contraptions and shit like that that were not in this tiny little motherfucking village. And then, at some point, I need to build this. Either either build up in this, or I don't have a lot of stuff. I have stuff, I, 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 don't, know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But that's the plan, is I gotta get either the villagers from over there, over here, and build this up, which I guess I'll probably just do this. I don't know. There's, it's just, building is just, uh, it's difficult <laughs> for someone like me. So, uh, anyways, so we'll get off here for the time being. That was a little catch-up video. I actually am surprised I filled the time that I did. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.